Hey, good morning. It's Robin Rose bringing you greetings from the garden. And specifically, well, here I am looking at uh, this beautiful Minarda fistulosa bee balm. Um, one of Matt Wood's favorite medicines. He says when you don't know what to do, what to give someone, give them this. Uh, so he considers it an essential balm, B-A-L-M. Uh, it's quite bitter to the taste. I'm just giving you a little uh, tour around the medicine wheel. Um, usually there's a cauldron in the center, but uh, I had it moved because I moved it because of rain. Heavy to empty out the cast iron cauldron. Here's uh, my favorite bee balm, actually. A lovely, lovely, um, lovely Monarda. Uh, okay, name is this Didima, Monarda Didima. This one is quite delicious and so beloved of the pollinators. This is a um, gooseneck, and you can see one of the lovely bees on it right now. Um, hummingbirds love these flowers. If we get lucky, maybe one will come along, or my very favorite, the hummingbird moths. Let's see if any hum Yesterday was completely filled with those, but I'm not seeing them right now. Um, there's a young elder. Ah, an oxymoron, a young elder. Young elder tree, experiment. Uh, but here's something I wanted to show you that's distressing. Um, sorry to share something distressing, but that's part of life too. This was a magnificent, magnificent mullen. And I'm gonna have to pull this sadly eaten uh, plant out of the medicine wheel where this plant was beautifully raining in the northeast. Uh, such a presence. And the thing that is so distressing is that the mullins are being killed en masse by an introduced bug, a weevil, they call it the mullen weevil, that was introduced just to kill mullins. So how ridiculously ironic is it that here in the time of COVID, one of our very best respiratory herbs is being um, devastated, really, by this introduced beetle. This is a beautiful, large leaf tobacco and here's one of my allies the exquisite castor tree and my very first ally the elder she is has grown enormously let's see if i can get that uh those flowers up there the flower heads were like a foot and a half across this year incredible but the reason i'm here too is i wanted to show you this is first year mullen and this is how the devastation begins so I am going to try my best to save them. And I'm using a blend of neem oil, neem oil uh, mixed with um, some uh, dish soap. And what I did find is that when I, um, when I have sprayed the plants, when that weevil is just starting, and I'll just give you, Keep a little tour going. The Artemisia, beautiful, beautiful. And all the St. J's. Hypericum andro, no. Uh, Hypericum amber androsamum. Yeah, it's a different species that's quite luscious. I'm making a lot of medicine with that. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see, I wanted to show you one more thing. This is uh, Jerusalem artichoke. We harvest the, um, oh, look at the swallowtail. <laughs> Beautiful. Beauty, beauty, beauty in the garden. Ah, such loveliness, such loveliness. Um, to lighten and lift my heart with the mullen devastation going on everywhere. Here's a lobelia. Here's a lobelia. Hummingbird just flew over my head faster than I could move the camera. But the last thing I want to show you today is so here is a, a mullen coming back from where I removed one that had been thoroughly devastated, right? But you can see where they start to um, eat them down. Just, this is, uh, I guess it's a great example of 
um, of a fragmented thinking. You know, not only, well, first of all, that it's not wise to want to kill all your melons, um, but also just like introducing one thing that causes harm to another thing. Uh, but we and nature are all so resilient, so adaptable, um, that it really is up to us to bring our full attention to taking care of, to protecting the beauty that we love and the right to things that are other than human, that are more than human, to live. Green blessings, much love, take good care.